the suspect in last weekend's quintuple stabbing at a New York rabbi's home was a person of interest in a previous attack on a 30-year-old Jewish resident on his way to synagogue, authorities said Thursday. Local investigators said they spoke to the suspect, Grafton Thomas, after a description of the assailant's car in the November attack led them to a vehicle owned by Thomas's mother. But their interview with Thomas did not yield any substantial information. We didn't have probable cause to do anything other than what we did, Ramapo Police Chief Brad Weddle said at a news conference late Thursday afternoon. A today's attack in Monsey, New York, a New York City suburb, left five people wounded when an assailant wielding a machete interrupted a Hanukkah ceremony at the rabbi's packed home. He is in custody at the Westchester County Correctional Facility in Valhalla, New York, facing five counts of attempted murder and one count of burglary as well as federal hate crime charges. Weddell said it remains unclear why the Hasidic rabbi's home was targeted and that it was going to take time to come up with answers. Joseph Newman, a 72-year-old man injured in the attack, is in a coma, and doctors are not hopeful he'll recover, his daughter said Thursday. The prognosis is not good. He sustained multiple injuries. He has a fractured skull. He's been sliced through his neck. He has a shattered arm, Nikki Cohen said. The doctors do not have high hopes for him. Cohen and her family called for an end to anti-Semitic attacks and rhetoric that have plagued the Orthodox community in the New York City area in recent weeks. Thomas's case, being prosecuted by the Rockland County District Attorney, will be presented to a grand jury Friday morning. His lawyer, Michael Sussman, held a conference call with reporters Thursday with Thomas's mother, Kim Kennedy, who said her son has mental health issues. Sussman portrayed Thomas as a mentally troubled man who sank deep into his own disturbed mind. He stood alone at a cabin he rented in rural Sullivan County and, more recently, at his mother's home in Greenwood Lake, New York, where he was often by himself as she worked long shifts in the city, Sussman said. The lawyer denied accusations that Thomas harbors hatred against Jews. It doesn't help to call him a name that then arouses a whole community. What we're talking about is not that, anti-Semitism, Sussman said. Sussman pointed to his client's history of hospitalizations and a diagnosis of paranoid schizophrenia. He says Thomas apparently stopped taking his medications in October, as evidenced by an unopened bottle of La Tuda, a drug used to treat bipolar disorder and depression, that was prescribed to Thomas and found at Kennedy's house. Sussman is asking for a competency exam to determine whether Thomas is mentally fit to proceed with his case in state court. Authorities arrested Thomas after a person at the rabbi's home caught the assailant's license plate number. New York police intercepted him in Harlem hours after the assault with the help of license plate readers that caught his trip over the George Washington Bridge. Ramapo detectives recognized his name from the investigation into the attack in the same community in November, officials said. Those investigators had little information other than a hypothesis that the assailant's car was a Honda Pilot. The Honda Pilot, belonging to Thomas's mother, has been recovered from the body shop where she had taken it last week. The car Thomas was driving Saturday night was a Nissan Sentra that his mother, a registered nurse who works in the Bronx, had rented during the repairs. Weddle stressed that it's not clear whether the Honda lead is a solid one. At this point in time I cannot sit here and say definitively that it was a Honda Pilot, and neither can the FBI. At a hearing in U.S. District Court in White Plains on Monday, Thomas, shackled at the defense table, was coherent as he answered the magistrate judge's questions. Federal agents say they recovered writings from the Greenwood Lake home where he lived with his mother that point to anti-Semitic sentiments, along with packaging for an 18-inch machete. Why PPL mourned for anti-Semitism when there is Semitic genocide, he allegedly wrote in one entry. It refers to Ebinoid Israelites, which is believed to be a reference to the Black Hebrew Israelites, a group that is believed to promote hate and that is not officially recognized by Judaism. In his iPhone were other clues, officials say, including searches for, why did Hitler hate the Jews, 
and prominent companies founded by jews in america.